Hey friends, Jill Heinerth here. I'm going to answer some of your burning questions um, about scuba, things that I get asked all the time on, on emails. So one question that's often put to me from photographers is, do I use strobes or lights? So strobes, right? Or continuous lights. So a strobe, when it's triggered by your camera's shutter will fire an instantaneous, very hot burst of light. A lighting fixture like this uh, Sola Pro um, is just on continuously and can be, you know, ramped up or down in terms of brightness. So which one's better? Well, it depends. <laughs> okay. So in the past, the only thing we had to use were strobes and for the simple reason that it was the only thing that was bright enough, right? Um, now still a single momentary flash from a strobe attached to your camera will be brighter than the continuous light of most of the, uh, the lights that you might use attached to your camera. But, um, the interesting thing is, is that cameras are getting better. They're getting more low light sensitive and the continuous lights are getting stronger as well. If you shoot video as well as stills from your camera, it's an easy choice. You know, invest in lighting um, rather than strobes because you can use it for both. Um, if you're only doing photography, then, you know, it could be one or the other. I think these days the bonus of continuous lighting is that you constantly get to see the scene unveiling itself before you. Whereas when you shoot with a strobe, the moment that you fire the shutter and you get the shot and then you look down at your camera and you get a preview of, of what you've just shot on the LCD, that's when you go, oh, I didn't angle that very well, or oh, I need the power higher or the power lower. But when you've um, got continuous lighting, then you've got a continuous preview. You can see if you're getting um, backscatter from the silt in the water column. I mean, you can see if the angle looks good. You can see if it's too hot in the corners or if the fixture's actually in the shot itself. So. These days, when you're just shooting on the fly, boy, oh boy, these are powerful. It means that, you know, you and your team can just be swimming along and then, and then you capture the moment and go, oh, that's it, click, right? And you've got it. Whereas um, it does need a little more setup and time, actually, for, for using strobes. You know, in the past, when we were trying to light up an entire cave, then we would set a bunch of strobes in the cave and we would fire those um, from slave sensors. So when the light from the strobe attached to the camera fires, the light triggers the slave sensor to fire a remote strobe that could be 50 feet or 100 feet away placed in this cave hidden um, to illuminate only when asked. Um, and you know, that was uh, the way that we were able to shoot some of these really iconic, early, uh, beautifully lit cave diving shots. Um, but, you know, half the time the slaves didn't work, the batteries ran out, or the line of sight wasn't there for triggering. And so that was frustrating. So now, if you want to use multiple fixtures to light up an environment, hiding some in the cave or placing some on your buddies, you know, they can also be carrying lights as well. And then once again, you've got a continuous, constant preview that's going on. Um, you know, with a fixture like the, uh, the Light and Motion um, Solar Pros, then you also have uh, the advantage. Whoa! You also have the advantage of seeing how much time is left on the fixture at the given strength. And when you, you know, ramp it up hotter, that time will drop. Um, so for me today, uh, lighting is the way to go. I've got a bunch of strobes that I haven't used in a while. And um, this is, this is my preference for um, photography and videography. So I encourage you to go out and shoot some of your own stuff and, uh, you know, check it out, test the results, and let me know what you think. 
If you're interested in more information on photography and videography, you can check out my regular um, Final Cut column in Diver Magazine, but you can also go to my website, um, find some more information, or check out my uh, books online, my memoir or some of my technical manuals on uh, Amazon. You can just uh, type in my name as an author and see what I've got to offer there. So thanks for joining me for some scuba tips. See you next time.